Hi folks, long time no upload. Welcome to the latest episode on the channel, which as I'm sure you'll see from the introduction and the thumbnail, is about the van, the van upgrades. This is my original van that was blue, and it has now had a beautiful coating of wrapped or paint all over, which makes it nice and solid and perfectly fit for purpose because we can get it muddy, we can lean our bikes against it, we can bash it and it will stay rust free and uh, give the vehicle a whole new lease of life which is amazing because it was starting to get a bit old and tired and instead of making a huge investment in a new vehicle which will just get covered in mud and trashed on the inside I thought why not make the most of this one and buy that bus that you saw before so now we've got two vehicles and today I'm at Ewan's at Extreme Auto Tints uh, Ewan's the guy that generally does all my um, vehicle graphics and printing um, and we're going to put the finishing touches to it we've already got the vinyls on the side and I have painted the red panel on the back but we need to get the logo put on here as well today so without further ado let's get the, the vinyl on and get this van on the road <laughs> Yes. Yeah, boy. Let's do it. Let's go and say hello to you. See what he's saying. Yo, yo. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? So we're just moving the vans around so that we can get the tail of mine in and uh, make it nice and warm at the back so we can get the vinyl to stick properly. So let's plonk you guys down here. And I'll reverse. This is very much in the experimental stages, so we'll see if it sticks or not. We've had a few different attempts at things, and it's uh, been slightly successful. The one on the sides worked just fine, so fingers crossed the next one will work as well. So that's us lined up the logo now, measured it from top to bottom, left to right, and all the way around. Unfortunately, there is no uh, straight edges on these panels, so it is quite hard to measure it. But I think we're on to a winner there. Looking good. Just got to mark it out now. Give it a, a reference point with the masking tape, and then we can take the backing paper off and stick it down. go there it is all heat gunned on and stuck down should be pretty good now cheers dude no bother. I'll fling you an elbow <laughs> right let's get this thing out here and I'll show you guys a few more details outside where the light is a little bit different Hello. so here it is then out in the wild look at that Looks absolutely spot on, as you can see from this quick walk around. So coming back to the Raptor paint, it is normally used for bed liner, um, which is like in the back of a lorry or a, a truck, an open back truck. They'll paint it with that stuff so that it doesn't scratch up and uh, expose the metal to get rusty. So it's super durable. I can't get enough of doing that. You could use it as a nail file. Luckily, when you work with small businesses and uh, individuals for things, 
even in lockdown you can get things done so my friend Gibb Mr Raymond Gibb uh, actually painted the vehicle in lockdown for me which was magic because he's got a wee one man workshop and he can just get on with it by himself so yet another advantage of small business so what else have I done? well I never thought I'd actually say these words but I have a new number plate now I'm sure you find it fairly straightforward to decipher this bad boy but it is R for Ramsey, 1 to 1 for 1 to 1 and MTB for mountain bike and we have a very special little backing plate that has the trail coach logo on it nowadays you can't put anything actually directly on the number plate itself um, so we decided to bypass that little problem by creating an acrylic back plate for it and that'll, uh, that does the trick making it look nice and smart, just the little small touches and got one on the front as well so there we are so another thing that you'll notice as well from a mile off is the fact that the wheel arches are actually totally full of wheel and tyre which is uh, a little bit of an upgrade it's the same wheels uh, but I've put a larger tyre on it that is an all-terrain tyre it's got a nice chunky chunky knobbledge on there a bit of sidewall protection as well and it's called a general grabber which I thought was hilarious um, got the nice white writing on the side of the tyre to match up with the, the logo on the side of the van as well the little red calipers are popping through they were already red but they're showing up a little bit more now just because it's also black so it is actually the same van everything inside is the same these are not actual real sports seats they are just a seat covering which works particularly well it's great for having a muddy bum and not having to worry about getting it bogging um, and in here it's much the same as well I've got a, a kit bag stored here but this is actually just a rock and roll bed that pulls out so that I can sleep and we've got the inverter down there and a little table up the back and all my kit patched around everywhere as you would expect from a mountain biker covered in mud but yeah, it is now the utility vehicle that it always should have been I'm excited to get it off-road which it has been a little bit already I don't know if you can see the mud up the side there what else? got any questions about this stuff? ask me in the comments down below I hope you like the van, give me a wee thumbs up if you do, if you want to see some more videos check them out up there, make sure to subscribe down here and I'll see you guys in the next one, cheerio!